Hey guys, this is Ron Williams. Welcome back to the Ron Williams YouTube channel, soon to be your champion life YouTube channel. Now listen, um, the reason why we're changing it, changing it to your champion life, because it really isn't about Ron Williams. This YouTube channel is really about you. Today we're going to talk about um, building the rhomboid. Now the rhomboid is the thick part of the back. One is when you're working your lats, the lat gives the back the V taper and the rhomboid gives the back the thickness. When you're doing a press, it's working the chest. When you pull in this direction, it's isolating the rhomboid. When you push up over the head, which I don't do, especially to the side, laterals or front presses, you're working the shoulders. When you pull down, you're working the lats. So what we're, what we're focusing on right now is the pulling the elbows back. And it's the rotation of that shoulder that's creating the tension on the lat. It's not just the pulling the elbow back, it's the rotation of the shoulder. Remember this, all of the muscle groups are made in an arc. The chest is made in an arc. And when you start here and you squeeze all the way around, to the center, you get a peak contraction. When you start here and you pull all the way back, you're getting a peak contraction on the rhomboid. Remember again, it's a, it's the muscle groups are made in an arc. You look at your bicep, your tricep, your shoulders, all of the muscle groups are made in an arc. So with that being said, we're gonna concentrate on working the rhomboid without working the joint. Now, the reason why that is so important is because the movement of that shoulder is going to determine how effectively you're working the muscle groups that you're trying to work. Now, if I'm doing a lying incline dumbbell roll and I'm pulling back, look at my shoulders. My shoulders are rotated forward, so I'm really working in my traps and I'm really going against that joint and I'm moving away from the rhomboid itself. The objective is to start here and start pulling the shoulders. The first movement is not here. The first movement is the shoulders. See my arm didn't budge, but it's the shoulders. Mm, because it's a rounded movement. So I'm pulling back, shoulders, arm hasn't moved yet. Shoulders, shoulders, now arms. Uh, to finish it. My arms are and my shoulders are in this position, not in this position. So with the weights, if I just grab the weights and start pulling my elbows back, ooh, ooh, I'm not doing a whole lot of anything but working the joint and moving away from working the rhomboid. My arms might even get tired and I might be exhausted so I think, oh, what a great workout. No, what a poor workout and what a joint workout, a damaging workout. So we want to make sure we have that circular arc movement as we're working uh, with the dumbbells or any other apparatus. When you're using a cable, it's the same thing. You're holding it here and the first movement is not here. The first movement is shoulders, back, my arms, didn't even bend yet. Ooh, then I'm finishing it. Shoulders back, shoulders back. Ugh. And in order to get my elbows back further, I have to let the shoulders relax to pull them back. I'm moving away from the muscle group. So go back as far as your shoulders will allow you to without them rotating forward. The elbows, secondary. If I'm going to work my biceps, I want to bend the elbow, right? But that doesn't mean I want to be in this position because the objective is to work my back and that's, ooh, shoulders back. I hope this is helping you guys. So I'm gonna go through it here again. So I've got the dumbbells and I'm pulling back. Another thing you'll see that's done wrong with this movement is you'll see people forcing their chin to help the exercise. That's really bad for the neck. It looks like this. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
not good. You want to lift the chest, open, open the chest, lifting the face away from the pad. Another thing that only you can see is don't put pressure on your stomach by pushing. Put pressure on the rhomboid by pulling. Don't push with your stomach, but pull with your back and your shoulders. If you push with your stomach, it looks like this. You're going back. Ooh. Ooh. But instead of pushing uh, with your stomach, you're going to open the chest. Uh, uh, and you're here rather than here. If you do that, you're going to get the development that you're looking for. And you want to squeeze those shoulder blades together, not by concentrating on the center of your back, but concentrating on forcing your shoulders back and your chest open and pressing and pressing. So it's actually stretching your, your chest and contracting the rhomboid. Just like that. I want you to try that. And when you try it, I want you to not only give me a thumbs up, but I want you to write a comment below and tell me what that feels like. If you haven't been doing it like that, you're going to feel a contraction that you haven't felt before. You may have to go down in weight to do it right. But if you go down in weight, you're going to get more development because you're doing it correct. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. Until next time, God bless you. Ron Williams out.